Today we're uh, here with Ryan Thrushman from Tri County Equipment, and we're running the 85 or 9530T and the Krauss Dominator. The Krauss Dominator's uh, 18 foot. And uh, Ryan, tell me a little bit about the automatic power shift here on this uh, 9530T. Well, basically, I got it set for uh, 12s on our automatic power shift. We should be able to throttle back as it comes down. It's a downshift. A little left here. Go back up. Get back up to 12th gear again. Okay, so the automatic power shift is going to seek out and find the optimum range to uh, pull this tool. Based on load on the engine, yes. If it's uh, get too much load on, it's going to drop down the gear. This will maximize the fuel efficiency. Yes, a little bit. I noticed we're bu we're burning a few more uh, gallons per hour here, pulling this 18 uh, foot tool than the case IH quad track was yesterday, uh, pulling the 14 foot tool. Um, You'll notice the ground speed's quite a bit faster right now. And we're also working 18 feet, and we're almost 18 uh, acres, acres per hour. hour. And we are burning 1.4 gallons per acre. Okay. Okay, Ryan, uh, tell me a little bit about the, the auto turn, automated turn sequence here. Basically, I had it set up to do a skip pass. It's asking if you want to confirm that and do one skip. Uh, I can acknowledge it here on the screen or by using the auto strip button on the air and But it will function and do all your lifts, down shifts, and turn the track. I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. is completely being done automatically without touching the steering wheel. without ever touching the steering wheel. Pretty cool feature with this uh, John Deere 2600. Yeah, yep. It's only available on the 2600 and your 8000 and 9000 uh, 33 track. Yeah, this automated turn is going to compensate. I don't know if you can see this boundary of this field. The field takes a little jog here. And you can see it out here. The automated turn will uh, self-compensate, so we won't have to adjust for this automated turn here for this little bend. Uh, this is capable of doing that because the outside boundary of the field was pre-programmed into this. Okay, here's that little angle here. The last pass we made, it turned around. This pass is going to go straight through. Okay, this is showing what the turn is going to look like here in a second. Now I've got this camera right in the way. There's no way Ryan could put his hand up and make this turn. This is being all done automatically. Pretty cool, Ryan. We're going to get into in a minute on how to uh, program the 
this uh, 2600 and make this happen. So Ryan, show us about how to program this automated turn. See on the screen here, I got our sequence set up. I got our name here is Enter Headland. And I have uh, uh, negative 60 feet before I headland. It's going to shift to 10th gear. And then uh, negative 30 feet, it's going to extend cylinder number one to lift the machine out of the ground. And also at negative 30, it's going to downshift again to 8. A little bit of jerkiness, I think, between the 12th gear and 10th gear shifted down. So I'm going to make another step in here. And we're going to put in 11th gear. Type it in. And we'll go to a negative 90 feet. Give a little time to downshift. Uh, nice, smooth operation. And I save that sequence. And then I pick it out here on Enter Headlands. I give it that name. So you can set up multiple different. Uh, applications for different tools and just go ahead and pick out which one you need for the application you're doing. And we'll pick it back on here. All right, got it turned on. And then uh, should do our sequence here momentarily. Go back to our home screen. We got uh, 300 and almost 300 feet left here to the headband. So about negative 90 should do that first shift. And we're in 12th gear right now. Yeah. Okay, so we pick this up. About 220 feet. Yep, and here's our turn, here's our feet again. Okay. Still in 12th gear. 120 feet, 110, 105, 90. Okay, we just downshifted. 60 feet. Now we downshift again at 10, 10th gear. Now we're in 8th gear. Just picking her up. We just turned slightly to the left, or to the right. Now she's making the turn. Once again, we're on a skip pass. So we're gonna be 18 feet over from the, the previous pass. Now she's setting her down automatically. 10th gear, 11th gear, 12th gear, all without touching the steering wheel. Okay, what I'd like to point out is the visibility on this tractor. For being as large a frame tractor and a high a horsepower, this is 475 horse. Here's the visibility from the cab in this thing. See that draw bar. Excellent visibility. Okay, we jump back over into the quad track here, and we're just doing a little uh, comparisons here. If you notice that we're running 1.6, 1.7 gallons uh, per acre on fuel consumption. Uh, this is uh, 10 horsepower bigger tractor than the 9530 and we're running four feet less on the tillage tool now turn the auto on okay now this will adjust the tractor all automatically so we'll set it up to optimum um, what we were showing there was uh, comparable ground speed to what the 9530 was running and now it's seeking out trying to find the optimum range for fuel economy. At this setting, we're getting 1.4 gallons per acre at six miles an hour, ninth gear, and we're working 10.1 acres per hour. So directly compare that with the 9530.